You better get up, stand up. If you've been done wrong, you better stand up for your rights like that Molly song. Get yourself represented, lawfully defended. Know your human rights, don't ever surrender. No. Although slavery was abolished in Jamaica centuries ago, a modern form still exists. Human trafficking, where persons are forced and taken away to work for no pay. Victims of human trafficking are forced to work as vendors, servants, or even prostitutes. Many media stories focus on trafficking in Russia, the Philippines, or Thailand. Think it can't happen here? Think again. I've basically just been posing as a tourist, and uh, I, hadn't, I didn't need to walk far. I just walked outside the hotel, and on my first night here was offered girls 13 and 14 years old. Um, I have been offered girls as young as 12. We have also been documenting girls who are Jamaican girls who are taken from Jamaica to other countries for their um, uh, s sexual slavery, basically. And uh, you're 15, you look, you look younger, like um, 13, 14. Yeah, man, she had 13 plus, man. She's 13 plus. She you're, you're 15? No, she don't reach 15 yet. She's 13 plus. Uh, how old are you really? Soon 14, September I'm 14. Oh, September you're 14. Yeah. Great, so you're 13 right now. So um, again, we're, we're getting all this information together. We don't intend to embarrass anyone. We want to give it to your team to, so you can follow up on it. Our one-on-one -on -one guest is Reverend Margaret Fowler of the Theodora Project in the Grill. All right, so if you could just tell us a little bit about the Theodora Project. Yes, the Theodora Project started in uh, 2004 in response to the needs to do something for young people in the grill, you know, especially young women, to keep them away from prostitution or commercial sex trade. And we started an educational development project so that through education, the young people can make positive choices. What is human trafficking? Well, human trafficking is uh, a person, young person, being basically hoodwinked into to think they're going to do some work in a specific place. When they get there, the work turns out to be something totally different. When it comes to human trafficking, it's the temptation to make money. The young people can be tricked into thinking that they're going to earn um, a whole lot of money, perhaps follow this ad in the paper, or if they maybe get an offer to go to another country or whatever. So it's, you know, kind of economic deception and trickery. What can be done to protect some of the victims of human trafficking? There are agencies that offer help for people that have been involved in any kind of sexual exploitation. Some of the women's groups do that. And we as a, a church, we have taken that on as an area that we want to, to work and to gather information so that we can document. Finding opportunities and ways to build that trust again. And that's what Theodora Project has been doing, has been teaching the young people how to make positive choices. And it's an organization associated with the United Church that, 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 that the people can be trusted. All right, now we've seen a lot of advertisements in the newspaper, advertising for particular kinds of jobs, working in massage parlors, working as exotic dancers. Um, what would you really have to say to youngsters who are looking maybe at trying to get into those jobs? What they have to realize is that these things can lead to other things. They have to ask themselves, do they want to end up working as a prostitute? If they're asked for some specific sexual service as part of the massage or whatever, are they going to just fall into that and say it's okay as long as I'm getting money? So when you work with the girls, you have to teach them self-respect. What is it they want to do? Of course it's tempting because everybody wants money. But if they can make some other choices, they don't need to go down that, that route. Show me no banana You love me, make me grow I doubt you for no Jamaica has been listed as a Tier 2 country when it comes to human trafficking. Countries which fall in Tier 2 have governments that do not fully comply with the minimum standards but are making significant efforts to comply.
The report made special mention of Jamaica's garrison phenomenon, playing a role in human trafficking. Some Jamaican women and girls have been subjected to forced prostitution. In other countries such as Canada, the United States, the UK, the Bahamas and other Caribbean destinations. Did you know? It's illegal for a child to be working when they should be in school. Although women and girls are the primary victims of human trafficking, young boys are increasingly being trafficked. Many victims are enslaved entirely within their own country. Threats, deception, force and psychological abuse are used to keep victims silent and compliant. According to the 2007 Trafficking in Persons Act, a person who commits the offence of trafficking in persons or who facilitates that offence is liable on conviction or indictment before a circuit court to a fine or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 10 years or to both such fine and imprisonment. If you suspect a child is being trafficked in your community, call the Office of Children Registry toll-free 1-888-776-8328. If you think an adult might be trafficked, contact the Organized Crime Investigative Division at 967-1389. The Theodora Foundation in Negril assists women and girls in the sex trade who want to escape. For more information, visit www.theodoraprojectnegril.org. For information about your rights under the law, contact Jamaicans for Justice at 755-4524-6 or visit www.jamaicansforjustice.org. That's it for the program. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, we are all equal under the law. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you better get up, stand up, if you've been done wrong You better stand up for your rights like that Molly song Get yourself represented, long believe the fin